Plastol, why do I want to use it? When you're bottling a liquid, say a spaghetti sauce, a salsa that's a hot fill, lower temp, a lot of salsas don't get the high temperatures. So if you're below uh, 175 degrees, you can run standard insertion friction fit liners that we carry. If you're gonna be over 175 degrees and on the wet products, you have to go to a plastisol line closure. You put the lid on while it's hot. Seal this tight. Now that cools. As this cools, it shrinks. So now it's shrinking down in here drawing a vacuum inside the container. What is plastisol? Plastisol is this little gasket looking material right around the outside. How we put this in is actually rather cool. The cap comes down a conveyor. There's a rotating disc that is down below. When the cap is in place, little rotating disc comes up and that spins this just like, well, I would say an old record player, but then a lot of people wouldn't understand what that is. So I guess a CD or DVD or whatever. <laughs> Blu-ray today, I guess. So this is constantly spinning as it comes up. When it lifts, there's a little magnetic pickup, a little piece that says, hey, I've got a cap there. Once it's got a cap there, it's happy and says, okay, now I have a cap and I'm spinning. I can let some of this plastisol go. So there's a little nozzle and it's kind of like the, if you took a pen tip, pointed the pen in there, thin little nozzle like the tip of the pen that's shooting down into here. As this is rotating, one revolution, it goes around and it puts this thin bead of liquid plastisol in here. And when it goes in the oven, the time through the oven and the temperature of the oven, it allows the foaming agent to bloom. So this expands and it hardens. So that's activating the plastisol. We have to have it in the oven a certain amount of time and at a certain temperature. If you don't have the temperature and the time, it won't bloom and it will not give us the sealing properties we want. We need this to bloom. We need it to be a certain height because when we screw it down on this jar, we want to make sure that it's going to be able to seal to this and conform to the land on the jar. And we take the top of the bottle and put it on an ink pad. Sometimes it gets our hands messy. We want to see a nice ring around where the land is on the cap because that's letting us know we are sealing to this jar 360 degrees. We do that, we know we've got a full seal, we're not gonna leak, we're gonna maintain pressure. That's a happy cap right there. That's the first test. The second test, we take this and we have a device that we actually zero out to the center here, so that's just the thickness of the base metal. And as we slide it to the side, it rolls up on the plastisol material. We take it right to the center of the black line. That's where we're meeting the land on the jar, and that's where we wanna know we have a decently consistent level of our plastisol. We measure the height at four different quadrants because we wanna make sure we're putting out a consistent product, which is the end goal. 